Hi there, truck and trailer owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at UWS's replacement striker bracket for truck and trailer toolboxes. If your old striker is damaged to the point where it's not latching anymore, maybe it rusted out, the pin's no longer there, or you've replaced your latch assembly with an upgraded one or a new one, and potentially the new model's not compatible with your old striker, you may need to replace the striker as well. That's what we had to do with this one here. We replaced the latch because the lock was damaged and the replacement wasn't quite compatible with our old striker. This one here is fully adjustable. You can see the pin can adjust down the slot and the striker here has a slot for its mounting as well. So once you get it mounted up, you do have some room to move it back and forth so you can get everything positioned properly to where it opens and closes smoothly. The only thing you get will be the striker bracket. So if you need a pin, you can get that here at e-trailer. It does not come included. You also don't get any mounting hardware. But in a lot of cases, when you take your old striker off, you can reuse that hardware to put it on. And you can see here, since it is adjustable, we were able to get it to line up perfectly with our latch mechanism. It goes right down on there and smoothly closes. The striker bracket is going to be about 2 and 3 eighths of an inch wide and the distance it'll hang down is about two and a half inches. It's just shy of that. So this is going to give you plenty of adjustability there because the adjustment slot is nearly the entire length of that. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our new striker on. You wanna figure out how far your latch goes in and then transfer that measurement here up on the top, just so we know how far in we need to set the striker. So we're gonna go ahead and make our marks where we're gonna be putting it. So we're going to go ahead and remove the old striker. It's held on with self-tappers on this one. So we're going to be reusing this hardware since our new one doesn't come with any. So if you can, I recommend reusing your old hardware. So I've gone ahead and marked it. We're going to be putting it there. But you also want to take your the striker pin and just make sure, too, that when this is inserted, it's not going to interfere with anything. It's going to hit. Looks like we're going to be fine here. It's going to sit inside the lid. We're not going to hit on the lip or anything like that. So we're good to go there. So now we're gonna run the striker bracket in with the reusing that old hardware. And then since this is slotted, I'm gonna make it so we can slide it a little bit back and forth. I'm gonna give myself a gap on the other side so we can adjust with our new striker. Now you can pull it down and see, and then you can adjust it as necessary and retighten them back down. And here we can see that's gonna line up with our striker and everything should work out the way we needed to. So we can go ahead and insert the striker pin now and then install that. Now your striker pin does not come with a nut, so you are gonna have to provide that. You can get that at your local hardware store. This is a quarter inch 20 thread. So we're just gonna put that on there and then we'll tighten it down. We're gonna use a 10 millimeter for the pin and 11 for the nut. So now we've got our pin in there. We're gonna go ahead and snug it up just a little bit to where we can still move it around. So it's a little bit too snug, so we're just going to loosen it just a tiny bit. And then with a little bit loose, we can adjust the distance that we need it to be. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of bring it down to get an idea. We push it up. This looks pretty close to about the point we want to be. If we look at the gap that we have left versus the distance the pin needs to go until it goes underneath the latch. So I'm just going to hold it right there in this position. So we know where it goes. It's not a bad idea to just make a mark here because you may need to make some subtle adjustments to this later. So we're just gonna put a little mark on the side of our pin and then a mark there so we know where they lined up. And then we'll tighten it down, we'll test the fit, and if we need to make some subtle adjustments, we can move it up or down as necessary. And that completes our look at UWS's replacement toolbox striker bracket.